So a 5G royalty means the royalty that a device manufacturer will have to pay to the owners of standard essential patterns. Indeed, you cannot build a 5G device without infringing standard essential patterns. This is why they're called essential. And the holder of these patterns will typically ask you for a fee, and this fee is called a royalty. One consideration is the strength of the patent portfolio. The reasonable royalty should be proportionate to the value contribution that an innovator brings to the standard, but also to the essential patent it owns. If the royalties are too high, this will likely have a negative impact on the sales of the devices and therefore on the implementation of the standard. That will deprive users to the access to the technologies, licensing terms that are roughly comparable or similar, if possible, to each other. Because that's important to prevent distortions of competition. In one competitor has to pay much more than another, of course, competition will suffer. So Huawei announced that it is willing to license its 5G standard essential pattern portfolio. That is an important announcement for several reasons. The first reason is that it brings transparency to the market. It will be very helpful for device manufacturers to know in advance the royalty they will have to pay to Huawei. Second, in my expert opinion, this rate is fair and reasonable considering the strength of the Huawei 5G patent portfolio, which has been assessed as one of the strongest in the industry. For instance, a study by consulting companies Amplified and Gray B consider that Huawei has over 18% of the core 5G SEP patents families, ahead of Nokia, Ericsson, and Qualcomm. It is true that intellectual property rights and standards are complex matters, but they are important for consumers. Intellectual property rights are important to protect innovations and reward innovators. If innovators are not rewarded for their efforts, well, they will just stop innovating. This is why they deserve to receive fair compensation. So what we need is fair compensation for innovation, but also reasonable praise so that these great innovations can be disseminated quickly to the benefit of consumers.